Europe is a garden. We have built a garden. The, the rest of the world, and you know very well, Federica, is not exactly a garden. The rest of the world, most of the rest of the world, is a jungle. And the jungle could invade the garden. And the gardeners should take care of it. The jungle has a strong growth capacity and the world will never be high enough in order to protect the garden. The gardeners have to go to the jungle. That is Joseph Borrell, the EU foreign policy chief. In matters of foreign policy, he is the boss. He is the expert, one giving wisdom to the masses. Now, as you can imagine, the people who are trained to hate walls uh, didn't really appreciate the analogy which he has provided. Uh, many people have called racismus, but these were people on the internet because uh, as far as I know, no mainstream media outlet has touched the subject, uh, probably because they are very concerned about what is happening in Italy and Hungary. Uh, and they don't really have time to also monitor what is happening in Belgium. Uh, also, these people are appointed, not elected by the common folk, so they can say shit like that with little to no consequences. Uh, but what I do love is that there were some individuals which uh, defended the speech, uh, saying that he wasn't talking about human beings, that the speech is very edited, and that he was actually talking about values and ideas. Oh, I see. So values and ideas, they stem from the ether. They, they just happen to materialize. They don't come from actual human beings. Uh, they just pop up. Now, I do love his analogy, though, uh, but for different reasons. You see, a garden is a very controlled system. Uh, you have the gardener, which doesn't allow any liberty or freedom for plants. And it's definitely not a system built on equality or democracy. Uh, the gardener obviously is not equal to the plants. The plants have absolutely no say in what the gardener does. If the gardener wants to root out a plant, he can do so. And what's more importantly, the function, the main purpose of a garden is aesthetic. It is not for the well-being of the flowers. It is not for uh, the benefit of anything else besides aesthetics. Uh, and comparing, you know, like the European Union with this very controlled, tyrannical system of values with the rest of the world, which has liberty and freedom, a.k.a. the jungle, I, I do find it uh, a very interesting take. And all jokes aside, this is literally how these people living off the taxpayer money view themselves. They, they view themselves as the shepherds of Europe, like only through their wisdom, only because we have these anointed ones at the head of the system where, where they are the gardeners and we are the plants, can we reach uh, the peak of human evolution. Like they, they believe that evolution is not just genetic, but it's also social and cultural. And uh, th there are like many ways where culture can go. No, it's like, either forwards or backwards, and we can only go forwards if we pay more taxes and give more power to individuals such as this. So yes, I, I do enjoy the comparison, but for different reasons than why you may think. Uh, it is very apt. And again, when they're talking about Europe, they're not talking about the diversity of the continent. No, they are talking about the European Union institution, the gardener, the one that gets to cut the plants that grow too differently. Like, for example when the elections don't go their way into Italy and then they just start snipping a little bit. Oh, they don't like what's happening in Hungary. People didn't vote the proper way, so they start snipping there a little bit. Oh, uh, Germany. Germany expanded way too much and is now draining resources from other countries because it decided to have like two major gas pipelines coming from Russia into it and was promoting grid activism for the last couple of decades. And now it's in a little bit of pickle. Yes, but Germany is a beautiful flower. It's a magnificent flower. So uh, we need to put more water on it and take away water from the other countries. Right? Like This is what they're talking about. This is the beautiful garden. 
where you're not allowed to have different cultures. Like you're not allowed to have like the Italian culture and uh, the Hungarian culture. No, we need homogeneity. We need we need the guidance of the European Union to also help people how to vote. I fucking got. By the way, uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, I do think that in Italy the prime minister lady won. Uh, also in part of Ursula von der Leyen because she came out and she said that, oh, Italian people, better be careful at the voting polls. Better be careful. <laughs> Probably she annoyed a couple of people that went there just to be a little bit more dangerous, a little bit more adventurous at the voting polls. Now, as you can imagine, uh, the <laughs> jungle garden comparison uh, wasn't well received by many. Like, for example... Um, Bin Hassar Al Saik, the Director General of Dubai Department of Finance, uh, called this uh, imperialism and racismus. I'm appalled that the EU Commission appointed a high representative for foreign affairs and security policy, and I like to think imperialism is something of the past, and racismus isn't a value that the European Union fosters. Um, what I like is that uh, it is imperialism because he actually says, right, like the jungle is dangerous. The jungle grows too fast. So we, the European Union, we can't just build a wall. We must go out there into the jungle and promote diversity, inclusion, and equity and all of our authoritarian values where the governments need to spy on people. And, and we need to make sure that we impose political correctness in Nigeria and Zimbabwe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the absolute state. Um, at least that's what I got from the speech. <laughs> and Russia's foreign ministry also lashed out with the spokeswoman Maria Zarakova. I hope I'm not mispronouncing it. The garden was built by Europe due to the barbaric attitudes to the plundering of the jungle. <laughs> Which, by the way, isn't that far from the truth. I mean, if you look how uh, France is getting its resources to keep its uh, nuclear reactors running, it is a little bit problematic, but the left doesn't like to talk about that, you know? It's like, sh sh just let let let's not talk about... Or, or how um, electric cars are made. Where do you get the parts? Who mines the resources to construct the parts? We don't, we don't talk about those, you know? Like, just, it's, it's fine, it's fine. European Union. The guard. Oh, my God. Uh, to be honest, not as racist as the recent controversy in L.A. with some of the people elected there, all right? Like, that, that is a little bit more racist. Than, so, so, like, the European Union is uh, a little bit forward on the anti-racism initiatives, but uh, still problematic. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.